he who has ears to hear, let them hear. Good day, friends. My name is Paolo, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel is taken from Matthew 11, verses 11 to 15. Truly, I tell you, among those born of a woman, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Yet whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence, and violent people have been raiding it. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is the Elijah who was to come. Whoever has ears, let them hear. When Jesus says these words, it's a clue for us to go back to his previous statement. It means that what he said previously was very important in that many people might not actually accept it or realize what he's saying. During this time, many people were talking about and prophesying about the Messiah who is to come to save them. And now Jesus is here telling them, I am the Messiah. Many of them could not accept it because they were expecting something different, a Messiah that was different than who he was or who he is. When you heard, first heard about Jesus, how did you feel? Especially in a time where you were seeking for something, we're seeking for answers, and people will tell you, you know what? Jesus is the answer. How did you feel? I went to a Catholic school growing up, and I would hear God's word and God's message constantly. But those words never made an impact in my life since I was hearing it from an academic point of view. However, when I was a teenager, I was seeking for something. I felt like I was lost. I felt like I had no direction. And I was seeking for truth. I was seeking for answers to my questions. I was seeking for something to fill the void in my heart. And I could not find it. I tried to find it in material things. I tried to find it in friends, a different group of friends, in fact. And it did not satisfy. Until one day, I went to a retreat. And I heard about God's love. Sounded familiar, but yet this time I was listening intently. And I had an encounter with Jesus. I got to know who he is. I got to know his message for me. I got to know his plan for me. And I accepted his invitation to accept him as my Lord and Savior. I realize now that Though I heard the messages before, it didn't make an impact because I didn't have the ears. I did not have an encounter with him. I have not accepted the truth that he is Lord and Messiah. I have not responded to his invitation, nor did, did I seek his presence in my life. During this Advent season, we look forward to Christmas, but as early as now, Jesus wants to come meet you where you are to be with you whatever you're going through. If you have ears, hear his message for you. How do we hear his message? We hear it through his word. Spend time reading the Bible. Spend time reading about Jesus. His words of encouragement might help you. His words of healing might help you. Be sensitive to God's expression of love for you. You know that he's given his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for you on the cross to save you from your sins. Also, be, be aware of uh, actions of kindness around you. God can speak through that. People reaching out to you when you feel alone, a simple, how are you, lifts you up. These are ways of God showing us his love. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And also, maybe during this Advent season, God is asking you to help others hear him. And how do we do that? Through his word. Allow him to speak through you. Words of encouragement. Words of love for others. Second, express God's love for others. Let them know that God loves them. Let them know that there is hope, that we have a Savior in Jesus Christ. Third, do acts of kindness. 
to everyone around you. A simple good morning, a simple good afternoon would help them. Reach out to them. That's number four. Reach out to them. Many people are feeling lonely today. A simple text might send a message of love for them, realizing they are not alone, that God is with them, that we are with them. Those who have ears, let them hear. If you have been blessed by this reflection, please share this with your friends and loved ones. Like and share Pathways of Hope. Again, my name is Paolo. Thank you and have a blessed day.